Okay. Thanks everybody for joining today, June 13th, um, Jenkins Advocacy and Outreach SIG. So I only have a couple of items on the agenda and um, mainly probably the one we wanna spend a little bit more time on are probably the, one, the two at the end. Um, but so, so far GSOC uh, community efforts, recognizing financial contributors. Is there anything else that we should add to the agenda for discussion? Nothing nope. from my side, no. Okay. All right. So um, we don't need to go over the GSOC stuff, but I put a link there if anybody is interested in the current progress. Um, we have weekly progress from our contributors there and recordings are also on that page. Um, so the next item is strengthening community efforts update. And thank you, Chris, for all of your work on this. I know we know that there's been uh, some feedback and such. Uh, how are you doing? How are you feeling? Is it okay if I share something right now, just just to uh, ask for you, your opinions? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so the recording is on. Let me know. Okay. That's okay. Yeah, because I just want to share my screen. Oh, okay. Yeah. Stop sharing. There we go. Okay, so I have this. It's not as incomplete. I'm just changing the font. I'm just adding a color to it. And I have to make, I have yet to make the, make the square or a tangle like smaller. Mm. So uh, that needs to be done. But I think the West, I have it narrowed. So it's like, if you click on that, you will see like um, the actual repo. Mm -hmm. It's kind of looking like this, but I'm, I intend to make it a small rectangle with a rounded corners. Okay. Yeah. How does it look? The color wise, like font wise. Uh, I, I would say it's the font is maybe too big. I don't know. Too big. It's kind of like yeah. the wood at the top. I okay. think we. I think we could do smaller than the font on top. Chris. Okay. That's my opinion. Yeah. Okay. Let me change it. Yeah. The. Bruno, is is that what you were thinking as well? Uh, so smaller font. Yeah, smaller font, and when the uh, rectangle will be done, it will be even be better, I guess. But yeah, as a smaller font, if possible. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. So you're refreshing <laughs> directly from your code. Okay. So I'm just gonna make it. Like, I think it's like it's small already. Is it? Yeah, it's like this one smaller. Ah. Like that. Much yeah, if you don't mind, I do prefer that. Okay, yeah, sure. Let's do it. Alisa? Uh, yeah, so what about all the links? Does is the do, does anybody feel that the there's too many links? So do we need to list out all those links? Um, we don't have to, but it's like if we have if we like it's good for promotion. Mm. Promoting um could we remove the first part being Jenkins CI or Jenkins Infra, or Jenkins Docs, Jenkins whatever, so that it makes less characters? Uh, but we also have Jenkins Infra, I think. That's a problem. So we have to define Oh. Yeah. We have Jenkins CI and Jenkins Infra. And both are included. Just, okay, but... just in this case, it's just yeah. more my idea was not to change the link itself but just the display the first part of the display um but yeah we don't have to remove jenkins ci you just have to remove until the slash maybe if that's possible i think because it feels pretty bloated in fact yeah less i agree yeah just with this one this contributor has like has made a lot of contributions but some of them is like if it's just one or two, is it? It looks. Yeah. I think it looks alright. It's just for this one. He has like he has making versions for repos. It's quite a lot. Yeah. So the decision is. Kevin, what what's your thought? 
Um, so I think, um, I guess, would it be possible to, I know that the link, well, the link macro should still work yeah. here. Is it something that where um, we could set it up with the link macro where we have the text displaying specifically just like support core plugin or something like that, as opposed to the, like, I guess what Bruno was saying, Melissa with the, um, the Jenkins CI, like I know the Jenkins CI would be part of it inherently, but um, is there a way to adjust that? I guess we could, but let me let me think of some way to do it. So we could do we could split a point to um, thank you. I think I think it's this one. This one's a link. So we post. So I can I can do one thing. So I can change it. This one. Let's split it with. Um, I spit by uh, this. Just take the the second one of oh, the second one. Say this one. Let me see. Yeah, like this. Mm. Yeah, I think that looks Much a lot better. better, and it's kind of a little less. Um, yeah, I mean, it helps cut down a lot on the content, but I think it just looks a little bit nicer because it's not necessarily a matter of whether the plugin is in one place or another. It's just like this is part of Jenkins and. It looks, you know, this is where they contributed to. Okay, yeah, sure, I can do that. Yeah. I'll make cool, it thank you. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that, and that, everything looks great, though, Chris. This looks, I, this is a great, um, this is a great idea, and I think it looks awesome. So, yeah, uh, outside of that, that's like oh, fully on board. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. So, I'll make adjustments. I'll make the rectangle smaller. And, um, anything want, you guys want to change? Do we Any, need uh, to make that box lighter as well? It, this is just right now, so I'm using color for the same, exact same color, but I can even make it lighter, yeah. Yeah. Is there a, a gradient or something on the top box? Oh, I or see. am I daydreaming? Yes. It's gradient. Yes. So maybe it would make it less hard uh, if there was some kind of gradient, if that's even possible. Yeah. What we could do, let me think. So it's like it's a coloring issue, so it could be... Mm. Um, I do the color. I could change the opacity for the color later. So it's like I could change it to. Um, okay, thank you. I need to do this. Or thing. even if it was uh, possible to like reverse the gradient from the top of the page would be a nice like. You could go darker to lighter from there instead of going from lighter to darker at the top, if that's possible. It would kind of make the page look a little bit more seamless. Yeah, I think so. So RGB, let me change it to this. And let me try something. Let me try to change it. Um, RGB and this. Then um, 0.5, I think. It's like, it's like this. Let me check. Like this. It's lighter already. Yeah. It's better. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah um, I especially like the image that you added there it it gives it such a personal touch and <laughs> i like it a lot but do you guys want me to uh, make the first line like um combine the first two lines so thank you for making four contributions i can make it all in one lines but before the uh, for the repos i'm gonna separate them in separate lines ah so i could do like uh for the first two lines i think it's like for making progress uh, let me see. Thank you for making. Thank you for making. So here, yeah, so I can think of this. This can be like uh, this, but I will have to um, add to it. Like this. It's gonna be like this. Is it bad? Hmm, not so sure. Um, I, I like the if it can balance out because like right now the first line looks like longer than the others i don't i don't know how yeah i didn't do it I didn't do it then. so let me go back to it so like this this one i like the balancing i don't know what bruno and kevin thinks yeah i don't mind if it's longer but as long as it's balanced it's fine with me yeah, it won't be balanced if you're, I, I have it on one line, so I would just separate into two lines. And... Mm. Yeah. I'm okay if it looks like that. 
Okay. Okay. What, what does others think? Because I I don't have a design eye, so I don't either. Neither do I. I'm okay with it being a little bit more contained like this is. I know that the um the example that we've been going off of with the adoptium, it's a little bit more like contained and a, a lot smaller than this would mm -hmm. have been. But I think this works. And I mean, if especially on this page where it's the contributor spotlight, I think it's okay to have it be kind of like similar spacing size to the featured contributor the contributors on the page. I'll, I'll use it then. Okay. So let's stop sharing. Okay, that's good. Thank you, Chris. Yeah, thank you. It's coming along nicely. Yep. Okay. So go back to sharing my screen. All right. Um. Okay, so the next item I have is um, uh, recognizing financial contributors. So Mark brought to my attention, uh, which Alex Brand has brought to his attention, that on the, um, let me see, where are we? Oh, I put it on here. So this is how people are contributing or uh, donating to the Jenkins project at the moment. This is like one way. And there was a person that made $1,000, or I believe it was a, com a company that made a donation of $1,000. So, um, you know, we want to be able to uh, highlight these folks as well, or at least show them as part of their... Um, Thank you, right, on the page, on our Jenkins.io page. And um, so right now, I think we are only able to show them, um, like, on Jenkins.io homepage, this is the only way that we are um, highlighting sponsors. Mm -hmm. So we want it to be able to show more, right? Show more of who is contributing to the project. Um, and I know that e Basil has been working on um, this page or adds a sponsors page to the download to the download page, right? So I'm thinking this might, um, we probably, whatever we do, probably might need to align with this page. But of course, the page that we want to do is going to have more sponsors in it because these would be uh, people or companies that make smaller donations and we want to highlight them. So the question is, I poked around and I noticed that they, um, Adoptium has a, to me, it's a decent page, right? So this, it calls out um, project sponsored. Um, Adopt, Adoptium is proud to receive financial donations, both one off and regularly from the following companies. And then we also, and like them, we also have sponsors that provide us with, you know, hardware, software, et cetera, besides financial donations. Mm -hmm. So they call it out here as well. So um, I wanted to share this and get thoughts and feedback on what does everybody think that we could do on Jenkins.io for um, contributions. Yeah, I think the... Um... PR, the draft PR Basil created a few months ago, has had some uh, discussion already. The um, original proposal was about the class uh, of uh, sponsors, and mm -hmm. then it evolved into not the amount of money, because that's difficult to uh, comprehend for some of them. You know, sometimes we have 
uh, money from AWS or Azure to run our services on their cloud. But sometimes it's something that isn't tangible. Uh, for example, uh, Artifactory from JFrog or uh, Mirror or you know things like that. We don't have money. We know that this costs money to the company that uh, donate to us, but we don't know how much. So I think the latest proposal is to have uh, Mirror, for example, a cloud provider, uh, maybe a hardware provider and so on. So there will be some categories and not the level of investment. And I think also that we wanted to make the logo as big as the donation when we know about the amount they've been giving. For example, uh, CloudBees would be uh, bigger than uh, Azure, as far as I know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, th that was my summary. Maybe I'm totally wrong. That's from my memory, but maybe others know better than I do. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense to me. Um, and in looking at this, yeah, it's, there's, they're already talking about the certain levels as you mentioned, Bruno. Um, but I think for, for our page on, you know, on Jenkins.io, it's, um, you know, there's like, let's say the $1,000 donation. We, you know, do we want to call it out and or do we want to just put something like this where I guess life is easier for the person who's managing the page or has to update the page and things like that. And Kevin, I think I'm supposed to work with you on this page. <laughs> That's fair. Um, yeah, so I think, um, so I think, so from what my understanding is for the, for the stuff that Basil's been working on, it's the sponsors of the Jenkins project, where I guess um, my first question is, would these donations be different than the sponsorship in, in a sense of like what we're classifying on the page? So would it, should it, should it be a different format or, um, would we need to get consent from the donators for putting them on the page? Like some people may not want to be part of that. Um, or are they already like, are they part of a group that's already sponsoring the project? Is it worth like double putting them in there? I guess it, it, there's no issue with putting that there, but if they're a sponsor, is it the same kind of donation as like someone that just decides to give whatever they can? Um, and I, I think like, making sure that every, it's, it's kind of like the idea of every donation matters should definitely hold true throughout all of this. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't think like the the donation, like the image size or anything like that would be a thing that we consider for something like this. But um, yeah, I, I know, and also know we have the donate area already on the Jenkins.io site. So is that I, you know, my first thought was, would there be some way we could do something along the lines of the thank you at the bottom of the contributor spotlight, where it's like we highlight, it's kind of like a rotating, revolving door, so to speak, of donations or people like donators to the project, where it's because I calling out the amount seems kind of uh, playing with fire, and that's not a great idea, but just like a quick like, hey, thank you for making a donation to the page. And then like something simple um, what? like that. Only $25? I, yeah, that's, yeah, exactly. We want to try and avoid that kind of sentiment for sure. But um, yeah, uh, I think I think it's a good idea. I, I think it's, it's a little bit more, there's like a couple of little things that probably need to just be figured out before that gets put together but i i like the idea and i think it can definitely work it's just a matter of like where does it fit in and and how is it presented so yeah so i know the linux foundation they have um they have a um a rolling banner below like their main banner let me see if i can linux foundation Kind of like that, but this is their members, so it would They're be paying to be members. So, <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, 
Um, is that what you were referring to, Kevin, for sponsors? Um, so something like that, I think would be cool. I, I was thinking more like what Chris had showed us about the thank you at the bottom, like the recognition at the bottom of that page there. Um, I, I know that it probably wouldn't work the same way, but um, something where that kind of just rotates through donations based on the site that we have, based on that list, because um, that also appears to have like an image already associated with it among other information. So um, potentially just like pushing that into the like a similar sort of thing. Um, you know, and, and and once the sponsors page is actually up and, and part of the site, it could be something that's integrated there as well. Um, but again, if it's supposed to be separate and different, then we don't need to do that part. But um, yeah, that or something like this would work really well, I think, as well, just where it's got that kind of thanks to all of our, uh, you know, our the, all the donations that we get or whatever that wording would be. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, all right. So um, I guess we need to discuss this a little bit more. Um, so I think I'll take this offline and work this out with Kevin and see, you know, the pros and the cons, the challenges that we might face with certain um, ideas on ways to do this. But I think would you say this would be like the easiest route for us to go if if we wanted like get it done and fast <laughs> yeah yeah that that would definitely be like the quick and painless way to go about it it would just be more of like yeah determining what it what it's gonna like format wise look like and and how like it would be displayed okay but yeah Okay. And does everybody agree that this would be a good idea for us to do this? I mean, am I barking up the wrong tree or? No, definitely. That's a fantastic idea. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. Um, so just in the nick of time, um, thank you very much. So I'll take this offline. I'll work this with um, Kevin, and then we'll be report back on what we decide to do and how to proceed and all that stuff. Thank you all. Thank you. Take Thank care. You. Bye. Bye. Bye.